What's up, this is Simon from Infogram and today I'm going to show you how to get a free Windows VPS where you can download and run Jarv 24-7. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server and is basically a computer that you can control via remote desktop so you don't need to have your own computer run 24-7. I have this guide from the Jarv homepage where they have it in written form. I'm just going to walk you through the whole process step by step in this video. Please note that this VPS is not very powerful, but if you only run one or two Instagram accounts, it will be enough. If you run three or more Instagram accounts, I recommend getting a paid VPS, which is more powerful. I will put a link to the tutorial on how to get the more powerful VPS in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is click on the first link in the description so you get to the Amazon page where you can sign up for a free Amazon Web Services account. So click on create a free account. Please make sure that all the information you put into the sign up forms is correct because they're gonna verify these informations with your credit card and your phone number. Once you have everything filled out, click continue. Okay, then you get to the next page where you need to fill in a little bit more information. Just click personal if you're using uh, it for a personal account and um, make sure that your phone number is actually the right one because you're gonna need that one later. When you have everything filled out, click on create account and continue. On the next page you need to enter your credit card information, but uh, as they state here they just needed to verify your identity and they will not charge it unless you exceed your uh, free tier limits, which uh, you find in the description of this video. And then you can click secure submit. Okay, so in the next part, uh, you're gonna need to take a call from Amazon, which is an automated call, and they ask you to type in uh, four digits uh, that you see on your screen into your phone so they can verify that it's actually your phone number. After you have done that, you'll get to this screen and you can click continue. Now you get to the page where you can choose a plan. Now obviously to not have to pay we choose this basic plan which is free. Click on free. Now we have set up our Amazon Web Services account and the next thing we're gonna do is click on sign into the console which is at the top right corner. We have which we signed up with. Click next and the password. Okay, now we are inside of the console and we want to click on launch a virtual machine with EC2. Now you have some different options to choose from. What you want to do is scroll down until you find the Windows, Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 Base. This is the one we're going to select. Now here's a bunch of um, other information. Just keep this one on the free tier eligible and click on review and launch. On this next page we can leave everything as it is and go directly to launch. Okay, now the next step is important because you have to create a key pair so you have access to your VPS and um, you're gonna download this key pair and make sure you save it at um, a place that is secure because if you lose it you might uh, lose access to your VPS. So you don't have a key pair yet so click create a new key pair and you can name it whatever you want 
I'm going to name it VPS key pair and then click download key pair. Now you should have it in your download folder. folder. Again, make sure to save it somewhere um, secure. Once you have downloaded the key pair, you can click launch instances. Now your instances are launched and you can scroll down and click on view instances. You see that your VPS is now running. Next thing we're going to do is click on connect. We need to click on download remote desktop file. So this file you're going to need to connect with your VPS and then also click on get password where we now will need the key pair that we have downloaded before click on choose file and go to your downloads where the VPS key pair should be and click open now click on decrypt password and you see your password here this is the password that you will need every time you log into your VPS so note it down somewhere and uh, keep it safe okay now we are done setting up the VPS you can click close make sure that you have your RDP and PEM file saved somewhere where you have access to it because this RDP file you will need to uh, connect with your to connect to your VPS. The next thing we're going to do is uh, set up the remote desktop application that you're going to use to connect with your VPS. Now if you do have a Windows you already have the remote desktop on your computer so all you need to do is double click on the file that you have downloaded and make sure to click don't ask me again for connections to this computer so you don't have to always do the same thing and then click on connect now the password that you have uh, written down you have to enter in this field here you can also click remember me so you don't have to always type it in again and then click OK click don't ask me again and then yes and now you will be connected to your VPS now you're connected to your Windows VPS where we will later download JarV and install the software so it can run 24 7 if you use a Mac however you have to go to the App Store and download Microsoft uh, Remote Desktop there. Let's search for it. And it's this one. I have already downloaded it and installed it, so I'm not going to do that now. Okay, now that you have installed Microsoft Remote Desktop on your Mac, we can log into your new VPS as you already see I have two already set up and now to set up the new one from Amazon that we have created we just import the file we go to file import and then we look for the Amazon folder where you have stored your files and we just double click on the RDP file now you have it set up here it's already uh, all the information is already in there so you just uh, can double click it and then you get a verify certificate notification where you can click show certificate and then click always trust so this only shows up this one time click continue now you have to enter your uh, password for your Mac and click update settings now it asks you for your VPS password that you have noted before just type it in here 
and click on the arrow. And now you are logged in to your VPS. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up JarV on your VPS. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.